there. Hey, so let me see what I can do here. I've never gone live on YouTube before. Doesn't look like I'll be able to flip it back around, but I am going to give you a review of this wonderful bassinet right here. This is the Arms Reach Co Sleeper, and I absolutely love it. I've used it for two babies now, and I wish I would have known about it with my first child, but I just didn't. So, here we go, and I, you're gonna just bear with me because I want to show you all the tricks. It's really awesome. Okay, so this is the co-sleeper. I wanna see if I can get you. We're in my room still. It's time for us to take this out of the room, but I wanted to show you guys how amazing this is. So, what I love about this is um, I want my babies next to me when they come home from the hospital, but um, I don't want them like in the bed with me, but I wanna be able to reach them. Um, and so, this is perfect for that. Okay, I'm just gonna show you, and look, I can't, perfect. Okay, so. The only thing I do wanna say is like, you just find what you need. Like, I need this by my bed. Um, even in the night, like I keep water and stuff like that on it. Now, if you could get away with not having something right next to your bed while you have this, it's even better because then they can be like just right next to your pillow, right next to your head. But the way it works is it has wheels, obviously. And there's this big, huge compartment underneath here. It is a little over six inches deep and it is as big as the bassinet area. But the reason why I love this, it's all Velcro. Am I doing right now? It doesn't wake up. But then, and then there's Velcro right here on the insides also. So everything is all tucked away when baby is in there and everything's put up safely. And then, I'm gonna show you, I'll get it pulled open. This pulls back, and then this right here, there's like a little latch, I don't know if you can see that. See, that moves, that pulls, and then you just pop that out. Sorry, I need a camera. And then that side it comes out down there and it folds down. And then again, just for having everything all tucked away and safe, that closes back right there. This closes right there. And then this all Velcro's right here. And your bed. The legs. So, like, have a little bit of a lip still. You can see there's that much of a lip from where the baby lays in there. And then this pulls right up to our bed. But what I love is um, I think everything should. We haven't had to use this in about a month or so. So, this is what I love. See this right here? This clips in to the bassinet. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> so that just clips in right there. And you can adjust the length on it right here. I don't know if you can see. You'll see it better on the other side. And then there's another one. See, you can see how you can adjust the length and it clips in right here and so they it holds this secure and uh, my child has been over here but I'm okay with that because I want to show you this now this part is something that I didn't know um until later on the very first time I use this these legs have the little push button and you can raise them or lower them depending on the height of your bed and everything is like all tucked away and closed, which I love. Another really awesome feature is that on both sides it has these mesh pockets. So we kept diapers, wipes, burp rags, um, anything you need in there. I really didn't need all this space down here. Um, I know that some may. We just didn't. 
And then again, it has coverings over all of the metal. And I mean, this. Okay, we are reconnected. Sorry, you guys. I live in the boonies. This is just part of it. So this is the piece. Turned on light. You're just not going to. But it hangs tight right there. So then um, you just put it in between your mattress and box spring. And it's a square. Let me see if I can adjust these settings. Okay, that brightened it up a little bit. So then that little square. And it holds tight. Um, this sleeper is... Um, I mean, it's relatively sturdy. So I have a three-year-old boy and he even just climbed on it just a minute ago when I set her down in it. And, um, and it, I mean, it didn't tip over right away. Now, obviously you don't want your children climbing on it, but I love that it is sturdy and you can see like, it's not going anywhere. Now it can, you can slide it up or down, which makes it nice. Like just depending on how your bed is setting, there has been a couple of times where I've slid it down and just got out of the bed right there versus crawling <laughs> from the bed over here. You know, when you have to wake up in the middle of the night for your other children or bathroom or whatever, you know, mom life, right? So I really love this thing. Um, This right here comes out, there's a little pad. And um, let me flip the camera, it's just easier that way. So then this pad and it has a little cover. This cover is pretty soft. And um, okay, y'all wanna know my mom hack? So my baby slept wonderfully at the hospital. And then we got her home and we put her in here and she didn't sleep that wonderful. And I was like, what is going on? And then I was like, well, there's a window just right there. So, you know, maybe she's cold. I mean, I kept her bundled up and everything. So this was my mom hack. This is what I did. Took my heating pad and I put it there and then I just like swiveled the remote like right through there like that and it kind of chilled out right there. And then I have a plug-in right here. So I just plug that in and then I took, let's see, here she is again. Oh, there's, some toys mom life so then I took another blanket and I put it over and of course like my baby isn't laying in it right now I had this cord tucked away pretty well out of her reach um, she's obviously a newborn so it's not like she was going anywhere but then you can see like I laid her down right here and she was another blanket and everything and I would just turn this on medium or low depending on how hot or you know yours gets and she was she was warm so she went right to sleep and it was just amazing to be able to do that there was no obviously a heating pad I was very cautious and safe but it was just one of those mom hacks that totally helped and you can see this is used <laughs> so much like but I love it. It was pretty simple to put together also. Um, the one thing is that, like, it won't fit in my attic as is. So I have to take it apart to put it up. So, if, and um, for now, I am going to be just storing it away in her closet. Um, because if we do go anywhere or travel, this would make something that would be beneficial to take. Now. Um, I do wish that it, it had like a fold system on it. There, there's a something I wish was better. I wish it had a fold system on it and so that it could pack away and travel easier. But for being at home um, and then also like you, it's got wheels, which I think I showed you and they have the locks on them. Um, so we could wheel her from here to her bedroom if we were wanting her to get used to sleeping in that atmosphere of her room. Um, in the living room when we were all awake and it was just very it's a very easy very movable it fits through doorways um, it's not too long that it's hard to get out of a doorway into a hallway um, so I love it I would honestly like 
I wouldn't know what to do without this because I was at a loss with my first son and um, he ended up going to his crib in his room when he was like four or six weeks old just because it I wasn't finding anything that felt safe to have him in and I am so glad for this. This is the Arms Reach Co-Sleeper. I know that's backwards but Arms Reach Co-Sleeper and I will post a link for you guys to be able to go buy this. I absolutely love it. Um, I honestly don't remember how much it is but I'll post that in the, in the um, description too. So I hope you guys have a great day. Let me know what you want me to review. I've got a couple of reviews. I've done the Fisher Price Baby Dome. Love that thing. Um, the Payetta Mommy and Me. Uh, I think it's called Baby and Mum Backpack Diver Bag. Love that. And I'm learning even more tricks for it. So some of the stuff that I thought was um, useless at first, I'm finding uses for. So I'll do a, another review on that in a little while. I'm going to let her get a little older. Um... Because, you know, as babies grow, you have different names for your diaper bags, right? Um, I'm trying to think of what else, like cribs and stuff. So, anyways, you guys comment. Let me know what um, what you would like a review done on. And if I have it, then I will review it. And if I don't and it's something that I can get and review for you, then I will. I hope you guys have a fabulous day. And I hope this helps out some apprehensions. Uh, nervous and concerned parents. Y'all have a fabulous day. I'll talk to you later. As soon as I can figure out how. <laughs>